be the best at getting better. I got this from a, from a Tom Brady interview. He was being interviewed by Patrick Bet David, and Patrick Bet David asked him if he ever thought about becoming the greatest of all time. You know, in my eyes, Tom Brady is the greatest quarterback of all time. Sure, there can be argument there. At least he's one of the best, you know, top five. There's no argument with that. And Tom said he never focused on being the greatest of all time. His number one focus, his number one focus was being the best at getting better. I love that. That's such a powerful mindset to have. I've been using that and teaching that to all of my athletes since I heard about it. And I think I heard it in, you know, September or October. And I've just been, I mean, it's part of my top five lessons of the year. And I heard it in the back half of the year. Be the best at getting better. You know, it falls right in line with these ideas that I've been trying to synthesize with this idea of success, which is giving your best effort, which this new slogan of full effort equals full victory. If I'm giving my best effort and I'm always showing up and consistency is everything and I've sort of detached from the results because the results are a byproduct of my consistent effort on the right things, then why wouldn't it make sense for me to solely focus on being the best at getting better? That's just the underlying theme there is that process is primary, right? We're focused on the process of doing the thing because we love doing the thing. I mentioned earlier about podcasters can't get past 20 episodes because they want to be Joe Rogan and Rich Roll in a week when really it takes time, effort, attention, focus, deliberate practice. It takes talking to no one for ep for hundreds and hundreds of episodes. Then people finally start to listen and pay attention and then you have to continue getting better and then you get scrutinized and you have to continue getting better and better and better and better and better and better. And, better. and that's the progress because your competitive, competitive advantage is that you love doing the thing and then you'll do it for a longer time because you enjoy it. There's fun in this for you. I love doing this. I love thinking about these ideas and trying to express them in a way that's logical so you can understand them and apply them into your life and hopefully have some tactical advantages that make you uh, closer to closing that gap of who you are and who you're capable of being. That's the, that's awesome. And so if we're thinking about process is primary, Okay, my my wildly important goal or my wildly important target is like, you know, a guiding star. I'm always headed towards it, but I'm never there there. And so really I can celebrate my wins along the way and my successes along the way when I give my best effort because I know that's a success. I know that's a win. Okay. And so then my sole focus is to be the best at getting better. Wow, be the best at getting better obsessive goal orientation, the, mo the desire of most people today for quick, sure, and highly visible results is perhaps the deadliest enemy of mastery. So being obsessive with goal orientation removes this idea that we want to be the best at getting better. And it's de a deadly enemy for mastery. If you really want to have sustainable, durable ex excellence and reach this ultimate level that you're capable of being, reach the edge of your capacity and even go farther than that, your goal is to be the best at getting better. And Russell Simmons sort of echoes this wisdom in his book, Do You? And he says, I know some people say, keep your eyes on the prize, but I disagree. When your eyes are stuck on the prize, you're going to keep stumbling and crashing into things. If you really want to get ahead, you've got to keep your eyes focused on the path. People say this all the time. This is just another way of saying it. It's about the journey, not the destination. But if we have some concrete thing we can focus on, which is being the best at getting better, it's not so esoteric or it's, it's not as hard to grasp to say, okay, I'm going to be the best at getting better. That's my goal every day, day to day when I wake up. And it doesn't have, this is not about sports. I know I relate it to sports because that's what I know and that's who I am and that's what I coach. But you can apply this to any aspect of your life, fatherhood, being a mom, sales, um, you know, marketing, whatever you do, whatever you want to be great at, whatever you want to have sustainable excellence in, thinking about how you can take this mindset of full effort equals full victory. I'm always going to show up no matter what. Even if I get knocked down, I'm always going to get up. I'm always going to show up because I'm in the arena. And then, okay, with that, I'm consistency is everything. Consistency on my fundamentals. So I'm taking good care of myself by moving, eating, sleeping, and thinking. Consistency is everything. And then 
I have my target for each day, my target for each day, because happy people have projects and we are teleological human beings, which means we need targets. So my target for every day is to be the best at getting better. Unbelievable. Perfect. 